Welcome, we're going to show you how the COVID-19 self-testing kit works. You'll need these. A paper tissue. The tube and dropper tip. The flask with buffer solution. The test cassette. The sterile nasal swab. That's the stick for the nose a timer or a phone with stopwatch, and, if available, a holder for the tube, a clothes peg, or a stand to put the tube in. You should perform the self-test twice a week, in the morning, at home. The test materials should be at room temperature, between 15 and 30 degrees Celsius. Step 1. Thoroughly wash your hands before starting. Step 2. Preparation. Stand the tube in a holder. Now open the flask and drip 10 drops of buffer solution into the tube. Step 3. Collect the sample. Open the swab packaging at the marked place and remove the nasal swab. Now insert the absorbent tip of the nasal swab two to four centimeters deep into the front part of the first nostril and rotate it five times against the wall of the nose. Now repeat the process in the other nostril. When testing yourself, also turn the nasal swab five times in each nostril. Step four, put the sample in the buffer solution. Insert the swab into the prepared tube. Turn the swab at least six times in the buffer solution and press the tip against the side and floor of the tube. Leave the sample in the solution for one minute. Then squeeze the tube several times from outside. Now remove the swab and lay it on the tissue. Step five. Fix the dropper tip firmly on the tube and set aside. Step six, open the test cassette and place it on a clean surface. Invert the tube, hold it with the dropper tip vertically downwards. Now drip four drops into the indentation marked S squeezing the tube lightly as you do so. Step seven, start the timer and read the result after 15 minutes. After more than 20 minutes, the result is invalid. If a line appears only opposite C, the result is negative. No virus was detected. In this case, the child may attend school or kindergarten. If a line appears opposite C and another line opposite T, the result is positive and virus was detected. Even a pale line counts as a line. If a pupil has a positive test result, the school must be informed at once. A follow-up PCR test must then be done at one of the central testing centres. Until the result of the PCR test is available, the child must stay at home. If a member of school or kindergarten staff tests positive, they must immediately inform their employer and also do a follow-up PCR test. If a line appears only opposite T, or if no line appears at all, the result is invalid. If this happens, Check the procedure again and repeat the test with a new testing kit. Step 8. Properly packaged up, the used testing materials may be safely disposed of with household refuse. More information, including about testing centres, can be obtained at www.einfach-testen.berlin.